All right, hey, hey everyone, welcome back to another episode. Today we're here with the E36 M3 along Brooklyn Park, trying to get some kind of tandems. I hope you all have an amazing day. I hope you all enjoy the video. Thank you all so much for tuning in. We'll see how this goes. Um, this is actually the third time I'm trying to record this video today. The first try I did when I first woke up and I just couldn't do anything. The second try uh, was about an hour ago and the throttle, the piece, the, the little additional part of the potential meter that you attach to the actual throttle pedal, if you don't straighten that, it can give you a false reading and also if you don't tighten it properly or tighten it too much it can fall off and so then again you get a false reading and well for myself i had over tightened it and it had squished it off a little bit like it had over pressed on the throttle onto the uh, assembly and pushed itself off and um in doing so obviously you then get no reading right you get so i had to open up the pedals and just completely rebuild the pedals again um it's been an absolute crap show over the last couple weeks trying to take them apart and put them back together with every part i get trying to fix it holy it's been stressful but <laughs> we'll see how this goes holy it's working now working very well beautiful I definitely recommend the uh, upgrade, just got to be careful when setting it up and making sure you do it properly. Oh my lord. Damn. Alright, here we go. Let's see. We got two S14s and an Alteza in front of us. Oh well, I guess one S14 and an Alteza, I'm pretty sure. Um, <laughs> and I'm pretty sure we have an R32 behind us. Let's go. Not too shabby. I was trying to say in the other two videos that I was recording, um, the placement hasn't been too shabby for just getting back on and we're getting our transition time down. It's still not perfect, but for a two week break and then just hopping on again, I'm very happy with what we're able to get done. And I also want to say that this new throttle, the new potential meters are very responsive the throttle feels completely different and there's times where I end up over throttling and spinning the car it's happened in the last couple recordings so if that happens I'm sorry um, I'm just trying to get used to the new throttle right it, it feels different oh come on dude go what is he doing what a stupid guy oh my lord there we go. Beautiful. Left foot brake. Beautiful. Come on, keep her going. There you go. Right where we want to be. Well, now we're right where we want to be. I guess we were a bit off. Oh. Come on. Oh, tapped. Come on. Hard to stay on it's hard to stay on the same line as the guy in front of us when we're getting hit from behind right Let's see what we can do here get back into this Woo! there you go there you go getting our transition time down there beautiful also want to say thank you to the viewers for the support and Zach for the support on this first video back. Oh my lord. That means the world to me. I wasn't sure if people would even notice that we were back and making videos again. It's been two weeks with no updates. Because I... Well, I, there's been updates, but... This last week I haven't really had any updates for y'all because it hasn't had anything happening, right? So... I uh, just been uploading motorcycle stuff on my Instagram. If you don't follow me there, be sure to go follow me. If I'm not on YouTube, I'm normally on my Instagram uploading motorcycle rides. Uh, this weekend I actually took it out a little bit. Normally I just stay on the one road. Oh, there you go, over rotated. So right there, what I just did <coughs> was I held onto the throttle too long and with the extra throttle response, it gave me that extra throttle and uh, gave us that extra wheel speed that it's supposed to 
and then led to us spinning out. <laughs> um, not the end of the world. Here we go. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I, I took the motor. So normally I just stay on, on uh, what we would consider our main road at my parents' house isn't really a main road, right? It's just, it connects a few neighborhoods to the actual main road, right? It's not, it's... <laughs> You could go, you could go back and forth along the road all day and only see the people that live on the road, right? No one else. It's basically a neighborhood, right? It, multi, one big neighborhood road that connects a few neighborhoods. Like, no, if you don't live in one of these neighborhoods, you don't use the road, right? And there's only a couple hundred of us total at most. Um, the everyone else uses the other couple roads. There's a road on either side of us that leads all the way into the like you can drive on these two roads for hours but our road basically goes in between the two of them and it doesn't even go from one to the other it, there's like three different roads that connect to make the road that goes between the two different main roads it's and it's all a mess of basically what happened was a few farmers sold off random land that they weren't using right all the land that isn't farmable was sold off to keep the farmland for themselves and keep farming and keep living, right? And I wouldn't even say really farming. A lot of the farmers didn't farm for the last 15 years of my life. Um, the farms were shut down because they were, they were owned by people who were retired and they were just selling off land to keep going, right? To keep their retirement going. And so as they sold off chunks of 100 acres, more more neighborhoods were being built up in those areas um and so we've had to build roads to connect those different chunks of land that they sold off and built neighborhoods within it's a bit of a crap show trying to get around but the views the views are absolutely beautiful and i i normally just stick to the one road it's where I'm most comfortable, it's where I rode my bike as a kid and walked as a kid and <clears throat> you never really have to be too worried about it, right? Yes, some people drive a bit faster along the road, but uh, most people who drive a bit faster along the road are very good at driving and have the confidence and the, you know, they know what they're doing and there's no crashes, right? There's no accidents. Um, no one gets hurt and so yeah I take I took the motorcycle out and I had some fun but I got to the end of the road and I realized I was out of fuel and I had one choice either leave my bike on the side of the road and walk home which would take from where I was it would probably take over an hour to get back to the my parents house by walking um, I wasn't gonna walk an hour back in full motorcycle gear in the blazing hot sun when I could ride down the road another two minutes and get fuel. So I rode down the road to the, I got onto the main road, went down the street and uh, got some fuel for the first time. Normally I would just bring a jerry can out to my parents house and fill it up that way. That way I never have to hit one of the main roads. but. Yeah, this time I went out, and it was a lot of fun, honestly. Like, I, I had a lot of fun going out onto the main road, and so much so, I went back and hopped onto the other main road. So now I've gone onto the two different main roads, and took some pictures along each one at the different scenes, at the different areas that are beautiful and have something to see. Um, well, that's not true. I only did it for the one. The, <laughs> the one road I was on when I got fuel, I got a picture at the fuel station but didn't really get much after that because it's just one it's basically a highway road where it, just, it leads from the city to the, t to the small town that's it and then you can take it past town and go into the next town a couple hours away or two or three hours away something like that for the next town it's a bit far <laughs> getting back into it finding our groove Trying to find the commentary groove. I'm, I'm definitely having anxiety with the commentary today. I'm very nervous about talking and 
I don't know. I just this is very hard. I'm having a very hard time today. I am. I while trying to fix the pedals, I was ticking so badly. I'm in so much pain, and it's oh my. Um. Yeah, I was ticking to the point of Charlie. Where I I started like Charlie horsing my thigh. Um because I was ticking so much, I was getting angry at myself for ticking, and then started hurting myself for the being a Very stupid. Thankfully, it's just hitting my leg. It's just the Charlie horsing, really, it's, um, when you do it, when it happens once or twice, it's not the end of the world, right? It, it's, it's much better. It, I'm getting better, but I just had one of the worst tick attacks that I've had in a while while trying to fix the pedals. And, uh, yeah, I ended up Charlie horsing both of my legs about ten times, and my legs are just completely bruised and in pain, and I just want to cry, and I was in tears. I, I couldn't handle it. I, uh, I was in a lot of pain, and it just kept happening. No matter what, it just kept Charlie horsing myself. I just got more and more mad, and, yeah, I was, uh, sometimes ticking kind of takes over and I don't really have any option and it just hurts so much I just get pissed off right it hurts to be it sucks to be in so much pain and not be able to do anything about it <clears throat> normally it's only one or two little Charlie horses at the most and that's it L little Charlie like a little oh no you know you just a little a little tap on the leg right nothing bad earlier today though I was in tears and fucking full-fledged punching my leg it was i don't know what how my panic my ticking my panic everything just came over i was in tears it was very hard on me i don't know what all of a sudden i felt like my entire life had ended and i was like on the verge of dying and like i had to fix this or i was gonna die like i, I don't know what was going through my mind but like i don't know how that went through my mind like it, it very dark weird thought jumped into my mind as I was trying to fix it like it was I don't know I don't even know why I'm mentioning it um I don't know uh I guess I just want to be real with y'all right I like I, I've got issues right and I've shared about this in the past right I sh I'm always sharing about it it's just I've made so much progress that I don't normally share much bad right I, it's normally more good or medium right this is a pretty bad sharing i don't like I, this really sucks um but hopefully it shows you guys that like you know we do have issues but we got to keep pushing right um we're gonna have bad days but we got to keep pushing whatever it is right i'm obviously i'm not having a bad day right i just had a bad hour right and that's one another thing don't look at a bad hour as a bad day right having a bad moment throughout the day is perfectly normal it's okay and you can't let that take you oh my gosh <laughs> what what just happened <laughs> okay <laughs> i think i get that's that happened uh, <laughs> let's just hop right back in here i don't even know what we were talking about oh we were talking about doing oh yeah so basically right i'm always saying have an amazing day right and saying don't let the you know try and not focus on the bad just focus on the good right and i have a perfect example of that right i was having a bad moment yes a bad moment it was horrible i was ticking and panicking and in tears and in pain and it it was horrible but right it's been 40 minutes since then and i'm on here having amazing having an amazing time right i'm able to record again able to share it with y'all and motivate y'all and hopefully help y'all in some kind of way and i just you just got to look at the positive right i i wanted to be able to use this to share and to help others since i started and to have a perfect example of that happen right here right now like it's just it, it sucks but at the same time it's a perfect example so it, it's perfect it's it's not it's not that sucky right you got to look at the bright side of it and uh, a glass half full right a cup half full kind of person and that's hard to do that's very hard to do most of my life I'm a half empty kind of person but over the last year or so 
I've definitely made a lot of progress on being more half full and I just life is so much brighter and more beautiful when you're looking at it as half full rather than half empty just oh my lord I go outside and smell the, the spring and it smells like when I was a kid and the, the, all the flowers and the dew of the grass and oh man especially when you're out in the countryside and you're driving past the farms and you you smell the freshly cut hay and the manure and oh man that shit is special like nothing else I can't even unless you've been around farming fields your entire life I don't think you'll understand this like how special it is to smell the freshly cut hay and the manure like it's just to some people the manure is disgusting because it's crap right but <laughs> I don't know there's something special about it like obviously you don't want to smell just the manure that's pretty crappy <laughs> crappy <laughs> oh I didn't even mean to do that! <laughs> I'm dying! <laughs> oh. <laughs> when you mix it with the smell of the freshly cut hay, it's just beautiful, right? It's awesome. And it's my childhood, right? It's what I grew up smelling every morning while waiting for the bus. And while taking the bus to school, watching the sunrise over the field, oh my lord. That's one of the best memories and one of the things I love most about having a car now that I'm older. I get to go up for early morning drives and sunset drives and see the sun setting or rising above the fields of gold it is just absolutely beautiful. And I gotta say, we're not doing too bad with this drifting. I'm really just freaking into the groove of the commentary. I'm not really... Okay, of course, as I say something about it, I completely screw up. But the S14 went offline, right? <laughs> I'm blaming off him. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I'm perfect. It's all his fault. <laughs> oh, man. Well, there you go. At this point, we've been recording for over 20 minutes. Absolutely wonderful recording session. Went way better than the other two today. And even better than yesterday's. This has been a, so much fun. Thank you all so much for tuning in. I hope you've all enjoyed. And if you did, be sure to leave a like with your favorite part. And consider also subscribing for more daily content Monday to Friday at 9 a.m. And as always, everyone, I will see you tomorrow with another video. Peace out, everyone.